Hey guys, I couldn't find any videos on YouTube how to fix this and just figured it out for myself, so I figured I'd share it. This is for when your choke spring does not return on your Roddy lawnmower. Show you how it's supposed to work. Here's your choke lever. I've seen a couple of her mowers all work the same way. So you push it to choke to start your mower. You come down your carburetor. When you push your choke up, it pushes this lever, which pushes this lever right here on your carburetor. It goes in when you push it up, and then when you take your throttle back down, it's supposed to return and come back to your right. Throttle choke on, choke off. Now, what mine was doing, I've seen other people having problems with, is you put the choke on, it goes up, you push the thro back, throttle back down, it stays right there. So let me show you how to fix that. First, get this to this part of your carburetor. Hopefully you can do that. Just take your air filter housing off. You can leave your carburetor in place for this kind of setup. First thing I need to do is get this lever out. What we're gonna to try to end up doing is taking this black piece, the pivots, out. So, this little metal plate, if you've never taken one out, actually just slides out, it's held in by tension. Just remember it goes which way it goes in. You see the little bat curve right here. It's like a Batman. I grab him, pull him out. There's your Batman curve right there on the right. And he's decides to be facing out. I'll set him down. Now I need to get this guy out right here. I didn't want to take my entire carburetor off. So what I'm gonna do is open it all the way up so that I have the smallest piece right here. And right where it bends, I'm just gonna put a little extra pressure on, on him until he pops out of place. Hope you can see that. All right. The back popped out right there. Now, this black piece in my hand, make sure you're still holding on to that. He has spring tension. That's what's supposed to make him open and close. So when I first took this off and it was dirty, it was just staying in place. It should be trying to go back and close. Now that I've taken the metal plate out of the center, this can lift straight up. When you do that, there's a spring right here. Just make sure you don't lose this spring. Hold on to him. The whole thing will come right out. You'll probably have a little bit of tension on yours as you pull it up right here on the bottom of the black part. And that's what we're trying to fix. So let me take you in the garage and show you what I need to do. All right, sorry for the video, guys. I'm not a YouTube expert, so there's no professional video here. I'm just using my phone. So the metal lever here can come right out of place. Remember where he went on mine? There is two holes on one side, one hole on the other. He was in the right side of the two hole side. Now it's spring right there, you can see right here the bottom has a tab and he's just out of my way right now but normally it's below this it'll be touching a part of your carburetor the top side of it has another tab it hooks up into right there and the tension how many times it's spun around the black part creates a tension and that's what causes the spring shut if you understand that don't worry it doesn't matter you'll figure it out when I put it back together so in mine this part is inside your carburetor. Here's where your plate is. This part runs through the metal of the carburetor. This part right here runs through the metal of the carburetor. They were a little bit wider, whether it's swollen from age, temperature, or what, I don't know. So it was causing friction. So when it spins, the friction of here to here was, was more tension than the spring could give. So that's why it wasn't returning. It had nothing to do with the actual linkage itself. So I took a piece of sandpaper, I had 600 grit in stock, that's all I had, and just went up and down the whole shaft here, all the way around, and made it, you know, a 30 second inch skinnier. Basically this is smooth now, instead of being flared out at the bottom, it took maybe two minutes tops to do that. Then spray it down with some WD-40, get it gunk off, use the air hose to spray it and make sure it's clean before it goes back in place. And now I'll show you how to put it back in place. So put my lever back on through my right hole, second right hole on the right. And what I'm gonna do is if your spring came off, just rewind it so the bottom part, bottom part of the tab is sticking right behind this plastic tab. And the top on the bottom side there is in front of the tab. Now it's squeezed perfectly tight. Once it's down in place, we're gonna move this bottom spring tab down a hair and it's gonna get right behind this notch on the carburetor. So, let me see if I can do this with one hand. We want to get this in the right position so the lever's on the right so it's facing that side. Put him right 
down there should go down through a lot smoother than what it came up if you did it right so if you see my metal spring tab I'm gonna as I'm going down you got two things one I'm trying to get him on the far side of this metal tab and I need to make sure the bottom part of this plastic tab goes in the blast the bottom pole of the carburetor just line them up perfectly now that I've got my metal tab spring behind this metal tab I'm going to use a screwdriver just make sure your flax doesn't go flying and if we're trying just pushing the metal tab down correction the spring tab down so it goes behind the metal of the carburetor when it does that it's going to try and spin the black piece so make sure you're holding that still go it pops into place Sorry for the video. So I just held him in place. Now when I push him to oh, I had to go up and over. So you had to move the black tab here. I had to go up and over this carburetor tab before I go back down. There he goes back down. Now he's in place. And now you can see when you push on the spring, it's got tension to go back. Now I just got to put my metal lever over here, back in place. I'm just going to do the reverse of how I got it out. Just remember, as you're doing this, because I'm trying to do it with one hand, the spring is trying to push up on this black lever, which will pull it back out of place, and then you'll just have to start over. So, to hold him there, I'm doing that, we'll put the metal plate, the little choke plate, back inside this. But I need to set you down for a second while I do that. See so if I can hold this with my legs. my metal plate and my bat wing on the outside he will slide right through the groove and center it up now my black tab can't come up and down so I just need to put my lever back in place I'm trying to put as much tension on the metal piece here and not so much on my metal plastic tab the carburetor the alternative is to put this guy in place as you push him down here. You can do that as well if you can just keep track of both parts with your hands at the same time. Take my pliers to hold on to him. And now, now he's back in place. This is what it was not doing before I started. It's how it's supposed to work. Now, when I push my choke button on, which I'll now need to adjust because he was out of alignment before I fixed this. There you go. Choke goes all the way on, pushes him up. Now, when I retract, it comes back. And voila. Sorry for the uh, unsteady video. It's my first one. Hope that's helped you guys.